Hi friends, welcome to the part 7 of Google Professional Data Engineer Certification Questions, All Real Questions. If you are not a member yet, take this opportunity to become one. If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and get timely alerts on content related to cloud certifications. It WS, GCP, and Azure. Let us look at this question. One thing, like on my video at the bottom here somewhere, you might see products. You can click and view the products, very cool products in case you wish to buy them. Smartwatches, Fitbits, and so on. Very stylish. In this question, a pipeline is set using PubSub. This helps stream into big queries and operational databases in this question they are getting sensor events and in a nutshell messages are being sent but the problem is they are getting duplicate messages why 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 that is what you have to answer why First one says body of message is too large. That will not create duplicates. The if the body is too large, the message itself will not be processed totally in totality. And B says your SSL certificates have expired. If that is the case, you would get a different error. Your messages will not get duplicated. Okay. If your ID card expires and you are trying to get into the office, you will be kicked out. You would be kicked out of the premises. You would not be allowed to get in and then say, hey, you know what? The lift is not working. So this is wrong. C tells that there are too many messages. Boss, it is too many or too less. That will just that will not mean duplicates will be created because of too many messages. Amazon gets millions of transactions daily. If there are too many transactions, it does not mean payments will be duplicated. Payments are duplicated. Why? Because when the sender sends the message, the receiver did not acknowledge. That means Amazon delivered a package to you. The package got delivered, but you are a corrupt person. Okay. You say you are not acknowledging you got it within the acknowledgement deadline. Now, what will Amazon feel? Hey, you know what? I didn't get the acknowledgement. That means I have to re deliver the package. Now, in the in the Amazon world, this does not happen because they do not uh, let the customer say you got it or not. Okay. The moment you give the OTP, it is as good as you got it. But I will tell you a story. Reliance, when for the first time in its life, it started mobile cell phone services around late 90s they did not have an efficient system to track if the devices were delivered so i had my friends who kept on getting the devices like they got three or four devices and in fact he had to call them up and say hey dude stop sending the devices now, why did he call? Why, why he didn't use this as an opportunity to make money? Because those devices will only work with a Reliance SIM card. It will not work with other SIM cards. So it is not that my friends were honest. It is just that what will you do with a thing which will not work with something else, some other network. So this is my answer. Now let us look at the next question. This one is a dedupe question. What is dedupe? 
same like you want to ensure duplication of transaction duplication of records do not happen so what solution would you propose the first one says you would put a id for each entry so this is a good article by jishan khan he is a product manager in google cloud so he is talking about how to handle various types of duplication duplication can happen at source it can happen by the publisher okay so if you see here if it is happening at the publisher side which most likely this question is referring to then pubsub automatically assigns a unique message id to each message okay so this is what should suffice but we will continue our hunt to see if there are better options option b it is time consuming and it will slow down the process every time suppose you are uh, like you have seen in movies you get someone who's really bad and you try to identify if this was the guy who uh, who you spotted that day so every time they try to compare with the other folks now this will slow down the process every time you would compare the data with the historical data now the historical data can be 1 gb data it can be 1 terabyte it can be 100 terabytes you imagine how slow the system would become okay now c is telling that you would create a primary key and apply an index this is not a solution to remove duplicates why because what will happen you have a primary key and suppose a record with uh, a record came in and you say that this is primary key 100 the next record comes in with the same set of values it will say that there is a primary key constraint violation that is what it will tell and your jobs will fail so so it is a reactive solution like reactive if pakistan terrorist attacks then we will take an action that is reactive proactive is man the border so tightly that infiltration cannot happen that is proactive the last one says you will store the hash values and other metadata for each data entry in a database and then what will you do for each comparison you will say you know what this is duplicate so that process will still be slower than option a so we did not find a better option then option a so let us finalize this answer let us look at the next one suppose you have a data scientist like ranbir kapoor in brahmastra he was performing complicated analysis every time trying to test his powers and keep fainting and he had someone always asking shiva what happened shiva what happened now this complicated analysis is done on data which is stored on cloud storage and it is able to store any amount of data and the data is also stored on google compute engine cassandra clusters cassandra is a no sql database the scientists are doing some machine learning work along with visualization and her laptop is very slow so my friend what should you do out of these what should you do first thing is it is saying you run a local version of jupiter okay this guy is a stupid guy she already told her laptop is slow still this guy is saying boss you run it on your laptop so this is wrong 
second one says you give the user access to cloud shell cloud shell helps you manage your infrastructure using your browser you can perform deployment uh, development you can build develop deploy cloud based apps is that what this person is asked to do no boss this person is doing working on machine learning project and visualization project why she needs to develop an app crap so this one c is talking about putting a viz tool boss on a vm viz tool is fine who will address machine learning projects you didn't address that right so this is wrong we are left with only one option now cloud data lab so i have searched and marked this you can do machine learning and you can do data analysis and visualization everything now this is what you want to do right you you have this is my right answer you want to do machine learning visualization complicated analysis just like ranbir kapoor in brahmastra he did complicated analysis to understand his true powers so this is cloud data lab this is like you know one stop shop very powerful very powerful okay in it world if you get access to data lab you can do wonders so this is the final answer if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe man what are you waiting for you will get daily alerts daily at least multiple times a day of all postings related to cloud certifications aws google cloud azure and if you become a member like do not take cloud soldier if you don't want to access questions cloud soldier if you want to uh, send emojis and so on you can do that please you are welcome but if you want access to questions you have to start from cloud kernel or cloud ninja cloud ninja is for advanced certification like data analytics okay solution architect professional and so on intermediate and basic certifications are in cloud kernel do become a member be my guest this brings us to the end of part 7 there are also some product listings when you start this video initially at the bottom here somewhere you get it do view those products you can click you can buy them these are cool products see you in the next part